recognizing the member for Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you to my colleague, uh, the critic, for allowing me to some time to ask this really important question. Uh, just before I begin, uh, Mr. Chair, it's difficult to, to sit here and hear the minister um, talk about all the things he believes he's doing for students in public education, just knowing what's happening in my constituency with parents fundraising for photocopy paper. Uh, school board can't even afford to build playgrounds anymore. Um, basic stuff is not happening anymore. And, uh, and everybody knows what's going on. Uh, and so it's just difficult, I just want to note on the record that it's difficult to sit here and hear this minister go on about his, uh, his funding and his recommendation that we close 20 schools in Vancouver in order to pay for the basics. So uh, the question is quite straightforward. I ask uh, the minister each year about it. Uh, one of the parent advisory groups I'm incredibly proud of in my community, the Bayview Parent Advisory uh, Group, they're incredibly passionate about their school, incredibly passionate about their kids. They're worried about the safety of the children in the school because it's not seismically upgraded. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and they've watched the ministry push back plans for seismic upgrading repeatedly. Um, maintenance isn't being done at the school because they're expecting a seismic upgrade. The conditions are deteriorating. So I'll ask the minister a very straightforward question. When will the seismic upgrade happen at the Bayview Elementary School in Vancouver? Minister. Well, uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. And the critic says I can say whatever I want now on this answer, so I appreciate the flexibility that he's giving me. Uh, but uh, specific to the Bayview uh, question, I, and I appreciate uh, uh, this information. We'll make sure the member under uh, gets to. But the, uh, the Bayview seismic, it's one of the ones that was identified by government uh, be, uh, for uh, lots of different reasons, uh, specifically around utilization. Um, that needs to move forward for a seismic upgrade. Uh, we do recognize that. Uh, as I mentioned, we uh, are committed to making sure in the Vancouver School District uh, that, and right across all the school districts that seismic upgrades uh, take place uh, and, and that are completed. Uh, but we, with doing that, we work with the, uh, the school districts themselves uh, to make sure that they identify uh, the priorities. Uh, we have asked the Vancouver School District uh, it's my knowledge to add uh, Bayview as a seismic, and the reason why I say add is because presently in their long-range facilities plan, uh, the Vancouver School District has not listed this school as one of their priorities uh, that they would like to see move forward uh, in the, uh, the short term. So uh, from a ministry standpoint, though, we feel that this is a good opportunity. Uh, we're going to continue working uh, with the Vancouver School District and the Vancouver Project Office uh, to ensure that... Uh, this project and the seismic uh, seismic mitigation uh, of this school becomes a reality.